I'm a bad bitch. I'm free and I'm motherfucker. Hawk me looking okay. Yeah. She can have she fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? He said he ain't. Hey y'all. I'm back. Peep the vibe. What's good to all my cousins? What's good to the gang? You F me, I F you, F me, then we cool. Simple as that. That part and all of that. Y'all, I realized what the problem is. I am now going to be recording all my videos on my phone, y'all. I'm going back to day one. I'm going back to the beginning, back to the basics. And I have a whole camera, really professional, really expensive, all that. But I think what it is for me was editing on my camera, having to transfer it to my laptop. It was just such a difficult process because it would freeze. I don't know if it's because I was using CapCut to edit on my laptop, but it was just like so time consuming. It would take forever and I, my freaking footage would keep freezing. It was just too much. So I'm like, I'm gonna just take it back to the phone. I can literally just record from my phone, edit right on CapCut on my phone and it'd be fast because I'm really fast with my hands on my phone. So I'm like, I'm gonna just go back, take it back to the basics. And because I really wanna get back to YouTube, giving y'all content, vlogging my life with y'all, Bring y'all along with me and y'all be in my company because girl, I'll be alone. I need some friends. I need somebody to talk to. So I'm going to be doing that with y'all. And I really want to be consistent and, you know, keep documenting my life and my journey with you guys. So that's what I'm about to do today. I got me a new little gadget, y'all. I ordered this little gadget off TikTok. So I'm really excited. Okay, y'all, this is me recording the back so I could show y'all this little gadget I got. That's nice, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's nice, huh? We could go down. I just ate some pasta that I cooked. We could go up. I like this. This is about to make my videos hot. So, yeah. Right now, for today's agenda, y'all, I'm going to be doing content with one of my photographers. This is a new photographer that I've work been working with. I can take some pictures with my Bob. And yes, when it comes, y'all probably, probably like, girl, why are you just getting dressed to take pictures, y'all? When you're a content creator and an influencer, you got to keep that minimum. What is it? You got to keep that you gotta keep the motion going, okay? You gotta take pictures. You gotta be active with your platform so that it continues to grow and people don't forget about you. That's how you stay relevant. You stay consistent, you keep posting, keep giving looks, keep giving people stuff to talk about, okay? So that's what I'm doing today because I haven't gave the girls some cute little lifestyle shots in a minute, so. I'm so excited to put this look together that I'm just doing today. Very simple, very classy, very demure. Um, very mindful, very cutesy. <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm gonna go to Home Depot too. Or is it Staple Center? Staple Center? Not Staple Center. Staples. Staples. <laughs> I'm about to go to Staples and um, get some supplies because I want to start going on TikTok live more and like, you know, selling my products on there and just talking to people on there about my products to get more sales. By the way, I am restocked right now, y'all. This was the first month of me dropping bundles on my website, which I was so excited to see how the girls will love me having bundles on my website. And they really loved it. They really ate it up. Like, it did so good the first two days of my um, bundles. I started off with I think 80 sets of bundles. I only have 20 left and it's been like four days. So that's super dope. Um, and I still have a lot of um, product available to shop if you um, didn't know. So you guys make sure you get yours while you can. Because once I, once I run out of these, I do not know when I restock it for real. Because I'm about to start like focusing on getting back into merch and clothing and stuff. Because... I don't know, I just want to do multiple things. So, yeah, make sure I support your girl. But anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm about to go to Stables for. I'm about to make a little project for me. I don't know if y'all seen like how some people be on TikTok live and they be like live selling 
on TikTok and they have like a cute little setup, a background that shows like, oh, they selling something like, it looked like almost like a shop. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm about to go make a, like a little poster thing with my results that I could have like next to me while I'm alive. And then I have my drip gloss cosmetics um led light sign so i'm gonna have the results and then i'm gonna have my light on and i'm just be set up like let me just give y'all a little vision here so i'm gonna be like live right here you can see my products you can see my signs i'm having like a little poster with my results like it's gonna make sense y'all get the vision y'all get the vibe so that's what i'm about to go do right now i'm about to get put some pants on so that I can go to Staples, y'all. Why we have a big old earthquake the other day and it broke my mirror, bro. My mirror that be right here. And it's so crazy. That's how I know God be protecting me and looking out for me. Because I wasn't even home. And the earthquake happened in my city specifically. And I wasn't even home. And I'm, look it. Shattered my mirror. And it broke my son TV, y'all. My son's TV was shattered too when I got back home. I was confused. And all my friends and family was texting me too. I was at a parent conference meeting for my son. And everybody was texting me like, did you feel that earthquake? I'm like, no. Cause mind you, we had just had an earthquake like two, two days prior to everybody asking me, did you feel that earthquake? And nobody was acting like the other one was a big deal. And that one was big. Shout out to God for making sure I was not here by myself alone scared and mirrors breaking tvs breaking girl that's what you get living in california though but i'm about to put some pants on y'all i'm on my period one thing about me baby i'm always excited to be on my period why that means i ain't pregnant hallelujah yeah 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 yeah. As long as i ain't pregnant i'll take them craps i'll take that pain like a champ because who getting pregnant again not me y'all my wig keep coming <laughs> why my wig keep coming up like that and it's still laid and it's still like Hold on, what the back giving? Y'all, what did it look like in the back? Uh-uh, I got a busy week this week. I'm not planning about doing my content and getting back to doing me. So I hope y'all rock with me. I hope y'all keep up with my video. Show me love. Make sure y'all encourage me to keep going. It really helps a young black creator out here to keep going and keep inspiring. And keep making it big yeah i'm turning off all my lights because girl we got bills we ain't got time to keep the lights on now i understand why my mom used to be yelling about turning the lights off and 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 turning off the air because <laughs> when you got bills to pay by yourself oh baby you understand turn the lights off don't leave that bathroom light on i be telling my son don't leave that bathroom light on but okay, so I'm about to go right now. Okay, I'll see y'all when we in the car or something like that. Okay, y'all. As you can see, I'm here. I'm what the f <laughs> as y'all can see, I'm here here at Staples and we're about to try to vlog her in public and not be scared of being judged. <sighs> we gotta get over this fear because we making money. We making money. We making, making money. We grinding. These people are bums. They don't matter. These people are dust buckets and you're that girl. So walk around like it. <laughs> oh my god. The anxiety is kicking in. What? You know what? Let's do it. 
we need to get the supplies we need to do this little project. I can't vlog in here because they playing music, so I'll be back. I couldn't record our staples because they was playing music and I'm trying to get every piece of coin I can from this video, okay? So y'all make sure I watch all them ads. And like the video, comment, subscribe. Do all the stuff that's free to show love. It's free to show love. Y'all ain't got to pay to show love. It's literally free. So if you're a real one, a real supporter of these creators that you watch, do them their big ones. Make sure they get paid for their dumb job. Y'all look at my son. This is him at school and this is him on Easter. And I just love these pictures of him. He's my everything. So I got what I need. Let me show y'all a haul got from Staples to make my project come to life. I'm about to go print out some um, pictures to put on my poster board. So I got this big old board. Cause this was gonna be like right here. It's gonna have like maybe three sets of results. So when I'm on live, people can see them. So I got this board and then some diamond letters. Cause I'm just that girly, girly girl I lie. So, you know, I'm put make a word out of this. And then I got some Sharpies. Um, so I can write, write my website on it as well. I got some diamonds, some decorations, and some adhesive drops to stick them. So now I'm about to go to my business center room here, go in there and print out some pictures of my results so that I can start this project, y'all. Anyway, I'm irritated a little bit because my freaking results printed out in black and white and I cannot figure out how to get them to come out in color so now they're just going to be black and white and i hope that people like can still tell that i cleared her up real good you see eczema and then clear i hope people can still see we gonna see what it what the response is when i go live but Bumpy and then clear. So I feel like you can still tell, but we gonna see by how the customers respond to it, if they shop or not based off of this. So I'm about to put this board together, y'all. So I'm basically just trying to get all this done before five because that's when my photographer comes. I'm about to do this project and I'm gonna come back to y'all and show y'all the finished product. Hopefully it comes out cute enough but I'll come back to y'all when I finish this because I have to hurry up. So I can do my content with my photographer coming. And then I have to live stream tonight. I'm gonna try to stream for like two hours and see how many sales I can get. Um, and yeah, we work and I may not work a usual type of thing, but I'm still working. So y'all make sure y'all show me love. We getting to it, we getting to it. We grinding all summer period. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Hey y'all. Don't mind how I'm looking right now. I'm currently getting ready to start my day, y'all. This week is week I'm basically preparing for my son's birthday party that's coming up. Y'all know I always have to do something for my boy because I just know how I am. I hate throwing parties, but then I love them too. And then my son, he's the one that told me that he wanted to throw a party, so why would I not give him what he wants? Hold on, let me get some lip gloss because this I just got out of the shower, brushed my teeth. Hold on, you already know who I'm wearing. Yeah. Yeah, I just got this new vanity for my room. Finally, I have a makeup area where I can do hair content, makeup content for y'all. I'm still getting my vanity together. I just put my glosses, glosses by me in my little um, lipstick stand, of course, because they have to be the first ones they have to be what's displayed first before I add all my other ones by other brands because who comes first? That girl. So yeah, and then I have this cute little thing for my brushes. Y'all, I literally got this vanity off sheen. I got this off sheen. I got that off sheen. This off sheen. Y'all, obviously I need some more perfumes. Make sure y'all watch all these ads, okay? So I can go get me some more perfumes because the collection it's giving embarrassing. I ran out of most of my perfumes, so now I only have this one, 
and I have this Chanel one. I need obviously way more than this. So yeah, y'all, my son's birthday is coming up. So I think I'm about to plug in another light right here because the light is really not giving that much, but I'm basically getting ready to start my day. Y'all have to run some errands for my son's birthday party. First of all, I have a wax appointment today. You know, I gotta keep the kitty beautiful waxed and smooth because that's basically what i'm about to do about to go to my wax appointment i might take y'all with me so y'all could just see how waxing does not hurt to me a lot of people say swear waxing hurts this this and that but hey i guess we're all just different here i cannot talk while doing my makeup this is i'm using this versace um not versace this is ysl is this foundation this is a ysl foundation stick and the quality of the product is so good y'all like it matched my skin look how good that blend i'm really only using this foundation stick right now because i ran out of my usual foundation which i use mac studio fix i think that's what it's called but I ran out, so I'm like, let me use this um, foundation stick because this all I had left right now before I go back to Sephora. Anyways, y'all, I'm wearing this hat because, believe it or not, my wig is off. <laughs> under this wig, under this hat, my wig is all the way off, and I just put it back on and put the hat on so that I can get my errands done. And it look cute. Y'all can't lie. It look cute. But anyways, I'm about to do my famous lip combo. Everybody always wants to know what lip combo I do. So I'm about to show y'all what I use. So I literally just go to, oh, so this is a MAC lip liner, which is not my go-to. I usually have a lip liner that's much darker than this, but I cannot find it. I'm so irritated because that's literally my go-to. I honestly got it from CVS and I, I, what I do is I don't buy actual lip liners. I buy eyebrow pencils because I feel like they're darker. They have better shades of browns. So I go to the eyebrow liner section and I pick out an eyebrow liner pencil and I got a dark brown one i have to go get a new one and then i'll be able to show y'all but for now i'm gonna just use this mac one which this one is a really good lip liner too but i this is better for a red lip because when you do a red lip you want to outline it with a brown but not too brown and this is a brown that's not too brown and it's kind of like a wineish color so i hate wearing this alone with just gloss because it turns my gloss into like a wineish color so I'm only gonna do a little bit. So I'm gonna just do like that. You see how it's turning it to like a wineish brown? After I do my liner, I use a pink lips lipstick lip gloss which i got this from cbs as well y'all cbs is my girl this is la girl lip paint in the sh color um what color is it maybe it's color brilliant it's color glg785 and it's like super pigmented, super pink. So I only put like one or two drops because if I put too much, I'm gonna be looking crazy. See? A little bit goes a long way. Then I finish it off with, of course, my gloss by me, gloss by Drip. Just so it can have that shine. Y'all know they don't call me drip gloss for nothing. My lip gloss is always going to look like it's about to drip. Period. So. Mm-hmm. That's how I like it. I like it to where you can see a reflection off my lips too much i keep it cute i keep it simple because i don't need too much i don't do too much yeah so 
this is the look for today very simple very comfy very cozy very mindful very respectful very simple very chill very i'm not trying to do too much i'm just here to get what i need and go very mindful very mature very demure so that's what we give it today y'all can see the hips is giving but stop playing y'all see y'all see what's giving i got this outfit from tiktok shop y'all no tiktok shop hate to see me coming because i am obsessed i'm always ordering something on tiktok shop i got this outfit on there there's two piece i will have a link to you guys my products are finally on tiktok shop y'all they had to get accepted they kept getting denied for such a long time and i finally with help of my team got my products on tiktok shop so y'all give me some applause in the comments because that is such an accomplishment y'all know everybody on tiktok and people like me are shopping on there every day so I'm just excited to see how well my products do on TikTok shop. I'm going to be going live on there, selling my products, like how y'all see people on there live selling stuff. That's what I'm going to be doing. And yeah, I'm just happy and excited to see how this year ends. It may be rocky right now, y'all. I am going through a rocky situation right now that y'all don't know of and that we don't even got to, we don't even got to get too deep into. But I just know that it's all going to work out because God always make a way for me. And I'm just his princess and I love him and he's my father and I love y'all for supporting me with everything I do and yeah we going up so let's get this day started y'all I'm about to I don't know if I should go to the picture place first I just don't want to go by myself I need to get over that fear though of going places by myself y'all I'm still fighting the urge of me getting used to going places by myself I know it's like at your big age yes bro and it's like you can't judge somebody for being like this because you never know what a person been through or why a person might be like that so yeah i'm still fighting that um i don't know so i need to go to this plaza to book me and my son's pictures and then i need to go i also need to go to the car wash because my car is disgusting it's been it got bird boo boo all over it all type of stuff it's just embarrassing and like what if i meet somebody while i'm out today and he come up to my car and i'm looking like dusty dirty car girl so that and then i um to go get a wax at three it's currently like 11 or 12 so i have plenty of time before my wax appointment and then i need to um, oh i also got to do a live tonight to sell some product um i might have to do a zoom call today with this guy i'll be back to y'all with whatever's next okay I just left the gas station and I wasn't about to record me pumping my gas because who wants to record that such manly, disgusting act of a woman having to pump her own gas? Ew. Anyways, while I was at the gas station, I'm pumping my gas and this man pulled up to me and oh my gosh, I already knew like he was peeping me out. So I'm trying not to make eye contact. You know, I put on my stank face because that that when i put on my stank face at the gas station that's me saying i put on my stank face at the gas station that's me activating don't talk to me mode that's me activating i don't want to be bothered like you see how my face look don't talk to me so he pull up next to me and i already see him peeping me so i turn my face on and i'm pumping my gas like the man i am and he go inside or whatever and then he come back out and I'm like almost finished filling my tank up. So I start like plugging my pump in and he come up to me and he like, hey, I could pay for that. I'm like, nah, he like, I could pay for that. I'm like already paid. He like, you don't like gifts? You don't like gifts? I'm like, bro, I already paid as I'm hurry up and get in my car fast. Cause at this point I'm scared. Now you creep me out. Now I gotta hurry up and get in the car. So I'm already I'm already in the car as he's still trying to talk. And I get in my car and I just zoom straight off. Cause now I don't even play like that. I don't even play them type of games, bro. Men scare me. I promise you my biggest fear in life is men. And it sucks that I have to even say that, but that's literally how I feel. Like I'm literally scared of men. And because men are like creepy and weird and obsessed with vagina and, and rejects and they don't like rejection and i just don't like men at all i honestly think i'm i honestly think i'm about to start talking to women because i don't know y'all that's just how i feel right now but yeah that's just what happened at the gas station right now and i'm on my way to go get my sister well actually i might just stop there and get my tripod 
from my car so I don't have to hold my phone as I'm trying to drive and um, then I'm gonna go to my wax appointment because it's gonna be two o'clock by the time I get to my mom's house and then um, I'm gonna have to get head over to my wax appointment which is I'm gonna go to my wax appointment first and then I'm gonna go pick my sister up and then we gonna go to this place and then um, what else I need to do? Ooh, I'm probably gonna have to go home after that because I gotta get on a call with this guy that work at TikTok who trying to help me house. Maybe I can do that meeting while I'm at my mom's house. We'll see, we'll see. But I'll be back to y'all in a minute. I just had to tell y'all about what just happened at the gas station, girl. Stay safe out here. I suggest y'all all get some pepper spray, a taser. I used to have a pepper spray and a taser, but I left it in some guy's car after I went on a date. And I don't know where to get a taser from because they don't let me order tasers on Amazon for some reason. So y'all let me know where I can get a taser and, and some um, pepper spray. I really prefer Bear Mace because I want it to be extra strong if I have to spray it. Like I want to guarantee that the person will never be able to see again. So can you guys like recommend me some good mace to and where I can get it in person? And yeah, that would be very helpful and very delightful for my life. She updating my vlog. I'm here with gang. Yes, ma'am. Wait, we need to tell them about how we about to do a Twitch, a Twitch account. First, we're gonna and do. YouTube. Yeah, first we're about to, we're finally about to be starting a YouTube channel together, y'all. I know it's woo, probably woo. been due, and y'all probably been thought we should do that, but we finally doing it this year. Maybe by the time y'all see this, it's probably gonna. Time y'all see this video, it's probably already made. So just check the description box and i'm gonna have it in there also follow our twitch account because we're gonna be having a twitch too y'all we're gonna be streaming we're gonna be doing all that good stuff because we're getting to it this year we're uh -huh, not playing uh -huh, no more uh -huh, like uh -huh. y'all need this energy in y'all life everybody else is like y'all need that fake stuff no more y'all need the real and let's take y'all around the hood and take y'all everywhere <laughs> show y'all the real so y'all need some authenticity Authenticity. We in the hood Authent right now. Yeah, we sure is. We in Venus hood. Girl, we just, just came from mine. Born here. Girl, nah, but born for real, we really is in the hood right now. I'm, I we're in the hood because I am about to book a photo shoot for my son's birthday. I'm a, anyway. So somebody told me this where we have. Girl, you better hope nobody see that. <laughs> Somebody told me to come here to book it, so that's what we're here, and we about to see what they prices talk about. Cause girl, y'all better not be trying to charge that much money, and we over here. So we found the spot, y'all. Let's go inside and see what they talking about. Cause I'm gonna see if they available. You know that good stuff. So, oh, let me roll my window up. <laughs> this is what we're going for. Yeah. Type of vibe. Hi. 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 Um. But y'all, we just went in the place and they talking about you could just walk in. Like they was ready for us to shoot right then and there. I'm like, nah. Uh -huh. Oh, hold on, hold on. Going up. We still have the camera. Yeah, because I'm putting you on my video. Come here. Come by me. Next to me. Say, say what's up guys what's up guys y'all this is how my morning goes every day it's 5 in the morning and I'm taking him to school every day I'll be looking a mess while I get him ready get him a little snack while we in the car I'm putting this in the Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> My birthday is coming up. So we're going to get a cupcake. It is currently 5 40. It's already 5. It's 5 49 a.m. in the morning. I do this every single day. I get him ready at, I get up at 5 15. I get him dressed and ready for school. 
we get a snack and we get in the car and we go because he goes to school like 30 minutes away from where I live because his dad wants him to be in this specific school, which is a great school. And he loves the school. He's been going there probably almost a year. And in my party, in my birthday, so y'all he will not stop talking about his birthday party that's literally all he keep talking about like he cannot wait for his birthday this morning i got him out the bed by saying today's your birthday he immediately got up but today's not your birthday baby it's almost here so yeah um i'm about to take him to school y'all this is my everyday routine every day of the week I, this is my everyday routine. I take him to present myself when I go drop him off at school. It has to give mother. It has to give sophisticated. I be trying to look like I got a job, like I work at the library or something. But, um, yeah, y'all, this is my everyday life. Every day of the week, I take him to school. And then by the time I get back home, it be traffic. So, 7 40 by the time i get home and i just go right back to sleep <laughs> i come home and i get right back in the bed and i go to sleep and i wake up back up at 9 30 a.m and then i start my day so that's what's going on y'all i'm about to go drop him off at school and um but yeah you guys i just wanted to show y'all my baby let him guys let him say what's up Girl, he ready to take his car nap. He always take a nap while I'm driving him to school. He get him a good little nap in. So that's what he about to do. You Okay, y'all. So this is another day, obviously. Today, the other day I went to Staples. I need to go to Staples again today, actually, I think. I'm about to go to Staples again today. I need some glue because I need to recreate this board for my TikTok live for when I go live. To live stream me selling my products on TikTok because I'm now connected to TikTok Live with my products, and I want to have like pictures of my results on a board next to me while I'm live. Yeah, I'm literally about to make me some breakfast. Craving French toast. I really want some French toast. So I'm about to make me some French toast. I love French toast, and it's so easy and fast to make. So I'm trying to stop ordering out food so much because it really does get expensive and I, you probably won't even notice that you're spending that much money on food until, yeah, you might even not even notice how much money you spend on DoorDash until it gets to a point like, where did all my money go? So I could try not to um, spend money on DoorDash like I used to. When I tell you, I used to have such a horrible, it used to be really bad, like it's not as bad as it was it can be better, but it's definitely not as bad as it was. When I tell you, I literally used to DoorDash breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day. DoorDash, if I needed some tissue, if I needed this, this, and that, I'm DoorDash. And I probably used to DoorDash at least three or four times a day. And that's just crazy. Like, just thinking about the fact that I used to do that, I probably spent like 20K on DoorDash or more. And it's, it's insane. Just to, even, just to even say that. So... I've been like trying to cook more. I'm about to finish making my fresh toast and then I'll come back to y'all. Look how good that looks. Yeah. I'm about to make me some potatoes to go with it and maybe some strawberries. And then we're gonna eat and then we gotta go. Y'all, we are in the game. I finally got a tripod in my car, y'all. So now I'm about to go to the gas station because I don't have no gas. And I'm about to go to my friend's job. Let's go to the gas station. Y'all, I love my car. I can't believe I was scared to drive. Now I'm just a professional pro out here in these streets. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, a lot of people be like, how did you get over your fear of driving? Because I'm still scared and try to bring myself out of that honestly i didn't have no choice i didn't have no choice i'm single i have a baby i have to get him to school i have to be able to go to the store 
I have to be able to drive so I really didn't have no choice and then it's like I have to be able to drive to see my family they live all the way I don't like having a little bit of gas so I always go to the gas station when I get my gas get low Ugh, I hate coming to the gas station by myself oh my gosh because I be looking so good and I know my buns be bouncing while I walk and, and you know the creeps the creeps come out when they see that so that's why i got this um this little cardigan on so i so i'm protected but i'll be back here i'm about to pump my gas real quick bitch i'm trying to stole i ain't got no time to punt i'm filling up my slap wood with obama rice and throw me the